Now today we're looking at this very overpowered 5-2-1-2 tactic created by Ryan Cassidy. We haven't showcased one of Ryan's tactics on the channel for a while, so it was damn about time that we did just that. Now Ryan is a fantastic tactic creator, and what he has managed to do with the three teams that I'm going to showcase for you today is quite insane really, with a three at the back system, which I don't really seem to see quite often in like the highest tactic ranks on the certain test leagues that we see. But I I really do think that he struck gold with this one. As we can see on the Liverpool page here, obviously that's Ryan's team. He's from Liverpool, uh, goes watches all the games. Mohamed Salah, 71 goals. Trent with an 8.2 free average rate with 28 assists. Like he has bought players for these as well because he's obviously played for it. He's just enjoying the game. But I still think that this tactic is fundamentally amazing. We can see here, goal difference of 93. That's plus 93, it means they've scored so many goals. Points 93. So what I do want to show you is the Premier League itself and also the other teams that he has won stuff with. So let's take a look. So statistically then, Liverpool are the top four goals, most shots, most tackles, most dribbles, fewest conceded and the most clean sheets. So not only are they the best going forward, but they are also the best defensively using this tactic. 121 goals were scored with the most clean sheets. They had 19 clean sheets. That's a 50% record for clean sheets. That is mental. That is very, very good indeed. The fewest conceded, they only conceded 28 goals in 38 games. A very, very good goals conceded ratio there. But what have they done in other competitions? Well, they've won everything. They've actually won the quad with this tactic. Uh, the European Championship was won against Bayern Munich. Now, Bayern, I personally think, have the best team on the game outside of the English club. So, quite fitting that they come up against Liverpool in the final, but Mohamed Salah slotting one home there in the sixth minute after a very good pickup from the centre attacking midfielder Mane there in that Trakatista role. The FA Cup was 1-5-1 against Leeds. Obviously, Leeds are a very good team, but they were no match for Liverpool on this occasion, especially in this tactic. Mohamed Salah again having a little bit of fun. The 3-0 up within the first half. Leeds did score quite early. In, well, not early, but they did score in the second half to make it 3-1. But they're not going to come back from that. Uh, and obviously Liverpool pick up another two goals. But bad keeping mistake there. Patrick Schick picks the ball up, slots it in from distance. I think he did something like that a little bit further back in the Euros, didn't he? Sorry, Scottish fans, uh, for bringing that one back up. But again, nice play from Leeds means that they do go on and score, trying to give us a bit of a game. But like I mentioned, no match for this tactic. Lazari picks up the ball on the right, obviously back up for Trent. He's played a lovely ball through to Mohamed Salah, he's touched it and slotted it in to make it four. And finally, the fifth goal was the second corner goal of the game. Mancini there with a fantastic header. And the Carabao Cup, or the League Cup, was dominated 4-0, a victory over West Ham in the final with four different goal scorers. Very, very good indeed. So yes, this tactic is quite phenomenal. We're going to take a look at how a couple of other teams have done using this tactic. But before we do that, this video is sponsored. Yes, today's video is sponsored by Spitch. Thank you very much for everybody who's been downloading Spitch lately, by the way. And you have joined the Community League, which is definitely the best decision that you could have made. We're having a fantastic time there. It's a fantasy football app with a little bit of a twist because you don't have to worry about starting at the start of the season. You can literally start this weekend if you want and you can win some cash prizes. On two separate occasions, I've managed to win myself some cash money without actually having to pay a penny. Yes, Spitch is free to download. Using my link down in the description as well, you'll also support me as a content creator. So thank you to everybody who's been doing that. Unfortunately, you do have to be 18 or over to qualify. Verify your account with a little snap of your identification and you do have to be from the UK or Ireland on this occasion as well. I do apologise, but once you have qualified for all of those things, download and Spitch is free of charge. Download it at the top of the description. All the statistical analysis is on the app. You have to leave the app to find anything out. And once you do, you can have some fun with me and everybody else in my community league using the second link at the top of the description there, which will automatically join you into the league. It's very easy to play. If I can register and set up a team, then you can definitely too. So thank you very much once again to Spitch for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check it out, guys. 
Now we're gonna go over the tactic in a sec and I'm gonna try and explain to you how I believe this tactic and why this tactic works really well. But I just wanna show you a couple more results. Uh, Marseille here. Obviously, I would say at the fourth best team. Let's take a look at the information. Uh, yeah, fourth, media predicted to finish fourth. Uh, they finished quite easily in second place there, only behind PSG, which obviously expected with the team that they have. 80 points in total, a very good tally, only losing six games, two of them to PSG. And a couple of games there that you wouldn't expect to lose. I reckon, like, I'm going to know Ryan might be managing this, but if you're managing this yourself, sometimes you can avoid things like that. Uh, let's take a look at other competitions because they were knocked out in the semi-final by PSG and they were knocked out of the Euro Cup by West Ham in the second knockout round. And finally, we're going to take a look at Braga. Now, Braga in behind, obviously, Sporting, Porto and Benfica. Always find themselves in fourth place, but not today. Oh yes, Ryan Cassidy has done it. He has created a tactic where Braga have won the bloody league. Fantastic result. Only losing five games all season. Two of them to Benfica. One of them to Porto, and all very close games, might I add. 79 points in total, again, with a very good goal difference. And if we take a look at statistically, you're going to see once again the goals. They scored 90 goals in just 34 games, and they had the most shots. So this definitely creates the most chances. And when we take a look at the tactic, I'll explain where it's best to put your certain players, because I think what Ryan Cassidy has done is made a, a, a tactic tailor-made for certain teams that you'll notice have these certain players. The tactic, by the way, is free to download. It's at the top of the description. Or if you'd like to join the Discord, Ryan tends to put all his tactics in there first before I take a look at it and make a video on it later on down the line. So this tactic has been available for Discord members for a couple of weeks now. So if you want to get your hands on these tactics early, make sure you join the Discord. And while you're down there, smash a like. It would really do help me in the YouTube algorithm and I genuinely do appreciate all the support recently, especially to all of you Patreon members, you bloody legends. Now, Braga also did really well with this in other competitions. They got to the semi-final of the Euro Cup, only getting eliminated by Lazio, which is definitely a very good result. And they also won the Portuguese League Cup. Uh, let's take a look and see who they beat in that. They beat Benfica 4-0. In what you can consider a massive upset, Braga winning 4-0 against Benfica is quite insane. Both strikers scored two goals as well, so you're going to see when you take a look at the tactic, one of them is definitely more of a supplier, one of them is more of the goal scorer. However, they both seem to score quite a lot of goals. Obviously, they have Vitinha, they have Abel Ruiz. Abel Ruiz gets himself an early brace in the first half. And Vitinha manages to pick one up before half time. Of course, I've made a video on Vitinha. He is absolutely incredible. Look at this for a solo effort. Bang, right in the far corner. Absolutely wonderful goal. Topped off by a second half counter attack. Abel Ruiz, what a ball over the top there. Vitinha breaking the last line of defense and smashing it home to make it 4 0 in the cup final again against Benfica. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's take a look at this tactic then. Like I mentioned before, the two strikers up top, one of them is definitely more of a supplier. That is this man, the complete forward on support. The Harry Kane, if you will. And that obviously gives you a little inclination of the type of teams that I'm thinking that this suits really well. My dad would love this. Let's just say that. Harry Kane up top with somebody like Hyun Min Song, a Trekatista in the middle, Kulazewski. I think you know what I'm thinking. This tactic is tailor-made for somebody like Spurs. I really do think. Because Harry Kane in a centre-forward on support role is absolutely magic. But then any striker that has somewhat decent passing ability should be good for that, especially if you pair him up with a striker that has a really good pace, like a pace merchant or a poacher role, something like that, or a poacher type of striker, this advanced forward role is perfect for that scenario too. This has instructions to shoot more often, take fewer risks, roam from position to try and break that offside trap. Maybe go out onto the wings and find themselves a little bit of space for the complete forward to find. The Trekatista in behind is going to be your little magician. The crosses more often, crosses aim in the centre and shoot less often. This guy is a very good player that you need as like a dribbler who can also finish because they're going to find themselves in shooting opportunities and also can pass. So kind of like a David Silva back in the day, one of those types of players who just a very well-rounded, creative attacking player. Moving on to your two centre midfielders, you've got a centre midfielder on support. Now, everybody knows how good the centre midfielder on attack is this season, but when you don't need so many going forward, the centre midfielder on support 
is almost just as good. Now we have to shoot less often, get further forward, roam from position, moves into the channels, creating overloads on the wings. And that's obviously crucial because you've got the players at the back to help support. So if there are players who drift away from centre mid, it's not the end of the world. And plus you've got a deep line playmaker next to you who plays more direct passes. If you have a very good player who has decent vision and good passing, this is perfect for that deep line role in that centre midfield role. I know it makes sense. You know, I'm not teaching you to suck eggs or anything, but more direct passes. I've been triggering quite a lot recently. It's been crucial in creating so many good through balls over the top for on Russian wingers or that striker like we've seen in that last goal there against Benfica. Then, of course, the two wing backs, they're going to be creating your width uh, and you, you do need to have quite strong uh, wing backs. It must be said, like, obviously, Liverpool, they have some of the best wing backs in the world. And that's the reason why Trent did so well in this tactic. But you can see here, cross more often, cross aim far post, dribble more, shoot less often, stay wider. Same in far post is aiming for that advance forward. Let's take a look at the other side. It is aim far post. Again, that complete forward can also be in the box. They're ready for a header. Let's take a look then at the centre backs. You're playing three at the back, two on defence, one on cover. I like that. That. The two on defense then stay wider, mark tighter. That applies for both sides. The one in the middle, however, take fewer risks, hold your position and mark tighter. I really like this. And of course, you've got the sweeper keeper in all else fails. He is there to help support the defense. But I really do like that three at the back. I'm not a big fan of three at the back this year. I've tried it myself. I didn't enjoy it. I know a lot of people gain quite a lot of success from it. But from what I've seen, I can't really get them working a lot. Brian Cassidy has done that here with the Spice Boys version three. Cracking name, by the way. Now, we have an attacking mentality. In possession, we are playing extremely wide. Overlapping, but of course, they are wing backs anyway. They should be able to do that. Playing out of defense. We're hitting early crosses. I like it. Mixed crosses as well. Standard pass and directness with an extremely high tempo. Running out of defense and being more expressive. In transition, there is a gay compressed distributing the ball quickly to the flanks. And out of possession, we are using the offside trap with a much high line engagement, high defensive line. Tire marking is selected. More often trigger press, preventing short goal kick distribution and getting stuck in. If I were you... Now I would this is my this is my opinion obviously not Ryan's and obviously he also suggests using opposition instructions he has a big page on that on my discord should you wish to have a look but if you take a look here he does seem to have all of this selected so if you do want to pause and have a look at this screen here to see what he uses for every single game then by all means do I'm going to go back to what I was going to say sorry on this section if you're finding that you're getting way too many red cards or yellow cards and losing a lot of players and you don't have the squad to back it up toggle this honestly toggle it i do all the time and if i find that i need to then win the game then i will toggle it on and i will also push this up as well use your brain to matches see what works now that is the tactic let me know what your thoughts are down in the description thank you once again to ryan cassidy for creating some of the best tactics that we have seen on football manager in the last few years thank you very much for you for watching the video for smashing the like button and making sure that you're subscribed and i'll see you next time thank you very much Bye bye